Hey, I'm Michael. I live in Berlin and I work as a mentor in Makerspaces to teach kids being creative with technology. And on this channel, I want to share with you my best workshop ideas. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how to create one of these cool working Minecraft inspired torches together with kids. These torches are quick to make and they only use cheap and very easy to use components. And every kit can make its very own design. Every torch works the same. There's a little on-off switch that closes and opens our circuit. Down here there's a battery. Through conductive tape, electricity flows up to our switch and from there up to our LED. Then it goes to the inside and back to the other pole of the battery. All my different designs are free to download from my webpage. You find the link in the video description. Every template comes with a short overview on how to build it. But basically it's always the same, as you will see later. And there are also these cool blank templates for coloring or printing on colored paper to create completely new designs. Each design comes with a template for the handle and a template for the light body. I usually use 160 gram paper for printing my templates. Besides the printed templates, scissors and glue, you will only need conductive tape, a white LED, a button cell and a paper clip. Depending on the template, you will need colored transparent paper. More on that later. You find a shopping list with all the links in the video description. Before kids start building the torch, they can experiment with the template Easy Circuit. It's a simplified version of our circuit, which is great for experimenting and testing the LED or even other components that you have. Once you have printed the templates, start by cutting out the three parts. The handle, the light body and the little rectangle for the on-off switch. For the holes, make a little cut and then cut around the hole. Or you use a cutter knife. After that, we glue our little on-off switch to the handle where marked. Put glue on half of it and glue it in place. Fold and bend the loose end upwards. This self-made little switch will later close and open our circuit. Now, score every edge marked by dotted lines like shown. Use the round edge of a paper clip or any other pointy object and press down with quite some force. This will make folding the edges much much easier. Now, fold every edge that you scored so that we can simply glue everything together later on. Use colored transparent paper to glue windows into the light body. Pieces need to be slightly larger than the window holes. So, if you don't have uh, colored transparent paper, you can make your own and it's a very cool process, so I want to show you how to do it. You can make any colored paper transparent with some vegetable oil. It even works great with post-its. Or you download my colored paper print template. Just whip off remaining oil after a few minutes and use your self-made colored transparent paper for whatever you want. Now it's time to get your circuit running. Use conductive tape to trace the circuit like shown in a template. Where the LED goes has to be a small gap. Our on-off switch needs to have conductive tape running to the bottom side of it. Start another path from underneath the switch up to our LED. The LED has one slightly longer leg, which has to point to the direction of our plus pole of the battery. The template will tell you where that is. Depending on the length of the legs, you need to bend them in a zigzag and press them down flat again. Use short strips of conductive tape to glue the legs in place. Give it a firm press to make a long lasting connection.
Now we make a small test. Use the paper clip to connect the battery to our circuit. The plus side, which usually is the blank side, faces up. Go ahead if everything works. In case your circuit is not working, you will find some advice in the instructions PDF that comes with the template. Before gluing everything together, remove those parts from the paper clip. Now we can glue everything together. You will see it really helps that we pre-folded everything up front. That way we will get nice and sharp edges. When gluing the light body together, use the back of a pen to help with the gluing from inside the cube. Now glue the light body to the handle. And you are done. For testing go to a pitch black room. LEDs do have different brightnesses. For best results follow my recommended materials in the video description. Here you can see again all different designs. The circuit is exactly the same. You can use every light body on every handle template. Don't use too much glue for the light body. That way you can exchange it with another design or even use another component instead of the LED. Like this little buzzer. So that's it. Uh, if you want to get started I recommend you check the links in the video description. If you want to support me you can do so on Patreon where I share even more resources for my projects. And if you want to be prepared for future projects I recommend you have a look at my vault paper scissors box. It's nothing that I'm selling. It's just uh, a shopping list of materials that I find very interesting and getting these will prepare you for all my future projects and also past projects. With my next video I want to explore the use of RGB LEDs and also how to create touchable paper interfaces. So if this is interesting to you, uh, you might consider subscribing. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and bye. Ah, one more thing. Building the project and playing with it is the fun part. But do not throw it away afterwards. You can easily take out the electronic components and reuse them in one of my future projects. It's best to store the batteries in their packaging. And don't forget to recycle the paperclip too.